First we create power domain top with supply VDD1 and extra supplies empty list. This will ensure no other supplies are available in top. This will create a power domain top with top.primary, top.vdd1. Then we create power domain add with extra supplies top.primary and top.vdd1. This will create power domain add with add.primary, top.primary and top.vdd1. We define power switch in domain add, input connected to top.vdd1 power and output connected to add.primary power. Then we define a retention strategy in domain add. So the add.default retention will be created. The isolation strategy is defined with source as add.primary and sync as top.primary with location parent. So the isolation cell will be placed in top and associated to top.default isolation. Now we associate the top.default isolation to top.primary and then we associate top.vdd1 to add.default retention. In a hierarchical flow, first we load the block level UPF using load UPF scope the block name and the UPF file. In this case, a underscore ISS dot UPF file is as shown. It has its own power domain add, power switch strategy, retention strategy, isolation and level shifter strategies defined. It also has its own associate supply set and set port attribute constructs for block level implementation. When we do load UPF dash scope, all the UPF information of block is available at top. One thing to note here is the object name will be block name slash the object name. We now create the top level power domain and then define the isolation strategy with domain name as a slash add instead of just add. We now associate the top dot default isolation to top dot primary and now we associate the block level a slash vdd1 to top dot vdd1 and a slash add dot vdd to top dot primary. Let's go ahead and define the power state table. It has two sections. Firstly, we define the power states of supply sets using the construct add power state. Here we can see that the add power state for top dot primary has a state named on for function power with the voltage 1.08 and top dot primary ground has a state named always operating at zero. Top dot VDD1 power has a state named on operating at 0.864 volts. Add dot primary power has a state named on operating at 0.864 volts. It also has a state named off which indicates it is switched off. The second portion is to create the power state table. First using the create PST and in the supplies list we provide all the supply set functions. And then we define the power state table using add PST state. In state S0, we can see that all the supply set functions are in on state. And in state S1, the add.primary power is switched off. The next topic is refinement. It consists of two stages. First one is creation of domain independent supply nets. We create supply net VDD, supply port VDD and connect them. Create supply net VDD1, port VDD1 and connect them. Supply net VSS, port VSS and connect them. We create supply net VDD add. This is an internal supply which is connected to the output of the power switch. The next step is to update the supply set functions. We have learned this already.